Hello, my name is Michael Dell Brown, and I'd like to introduce my new book, The Apostolic Authority of Paul. The goal of this work in seeking to honor God through our Lord Jesus Christ is an ambitious one. First and foremost, as the title states, I will examine the apostolic authority of Paul, and this so that certain answers come sharply into focus. For example, who is Paul and why is he important? So important that without his writings, his 13 letters, namely Romans to Philemon, we would never have heard the expression body of Christ. We would never have heard of nor understood in any biblical construct the expression the revelation of the mystery. Nor would we know anything of salvation by grace alone, secured through the faith of Jesus Christ alone, without the addition of any human works, including repentance and water baptism. Without Paul, there would be no record of God's judgment of Israel and the temporary suspension of their kingdom program which resulted after the stoning of Stephen. Without Paul, we would know nothing of the one baptism in Ephesians chapter 4 that has for the body of Christ, and in this time frame penned by Paul in Ephesians chapter 2, as the but now displaced all other baptisms in times past. Without Paul, we would not know that we are complete in him, as Paul puts it in his letter to the Colossians. Without the letters God the Holy Spirit wrote through Paul, we would know nothing of our eternal security, outlined in Romans chapter 8, of our election to privileges in Christ and our predestination in Christ, nor would we understand our parenthetical position between the Old and New Testaments, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13. Without Paul, we would be ignorant of our unique hope, our unique inheritance, our unique relationship to God through Christ. Without Paul, we would not have heard the preaching of the cross, the gospel of the grace of God, or even how this gospel differs from the gospel of God, or the gospel of the circumcision, or the gospel of the kingdom. Without Paul, we would not yet understand the difference between the body of Christ and the little flock of believers who were water baptized, partook of the Lord's Supper, who spoke in tongues at and after Pentecost as a sign to unbelieving Israel, who sought salvation under the law of Moses and the rules, attending hope for entrance into the theocratic Davidic kingdom destined to be established upon the earth. Understanding who Paul is and what it was that God chose him to do is equally important. The Bible is both very deep and complex, and yet, with the help of God the Holy Spirit and much study and diligent effort on our part, we can begin to understand the revealed treasures that await the serious believer who will dig to find them. The facts become self-evident when we compare Scripture with Scripture, testing all things, and we reap the benefits that attend edification, especially of the body of Christ. Naturally, the question arises, what authority did Paul have? And what was the extent of his authority? Who did Paul have authority over? All of this and more we hope to cover in clear and easy to understand language. Not everything contained in this work will be considered the traditional view. And for that, I offer no apology. And I say this because in the 44 years that I have walked with God in Christ Jesus, 
I have noted that the vain traditions of men depart from the scripture, and in doing so, blind all those who embrace unsound teaching. With much repetition and mishandling of the Bible, too many believers suffer from being mistaught, and when confronted with accurate exposition, to often resist the presentation of biblical truth. This book will be helpful if the reader can keep an open mind and also look at the Bible with fresh and unbiased eyes.